Hey guys, my name is Barry Impulse and in this video I'll show you how to beat the 3 Colosseum battles. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks along the way. You can skip to a particular fight by going to the timestamp on the screen of course. The last fights are the most exciting ones and I assume that many of you would have had trouble with them. Anyway, let's begin with the trial of the warrior. Alright, here we are, the Colosseum of Foos. Thank you, thank you for the cheers. So I gotta say this, I already completed this one at a very low level. I was very low level at the pretty much at the beginning of the game after I got the wall climb. I attempted this, it took me about 20 tries I guess. And I beat it then. However, I did not anticipate recording this video. I did not expect it to record all my battles, so I did not record that part. So what I did was I, after I beat the last battle, I went back to this and recorded this part. So that's why you see me being kind of overpowered. But don't worry, I can still show you some tips, give you some tricks and whatnot. Basically hit these guys once. They're gonna follow. Not always, of course. This guy's gonna fall. At, at this point you should not have the wings, so you should not have a double jump. Now dealing with this guy is pretty easy if you know what you're doing. What you do is jump and hit him with his own projectile. If you go too close there's a chance that he's gonna hit you. Of course if you have my setup right now it would not be an issue but I'm showing you here how to deal with him if you don't have good gear yourself. Yeah, just jump and hit his projectile to him. He's gonna hit him and he's dead. Alright, these guys are the biggest issue. I suggest getting this power up, I guess, sword art or nail art, I guess, to deal with these guys because they're one shot kill. If you don't have this and you probably don't have this at this point, you need to jump at them, hit them once and g get away from them as quick as possible the best way to deal with them. So for these guys, what you can do if you don't have this nail art, you can hit him once and jump down. Hit him once again, jump down. Do this I think four or five times depending on how well you have upgraded your nail and he's not gonna be an issue. Okay, this part is uh, pretty annoying. But you still have some some place to hide. If you stay on the bottom, they're gonna spawn and stuck themselves up there. Okay, this is the most annoying part of this whole battle, I think. Not this part in particular, but this upcoming one. This one, yeah. This boss has always caused me trouble before and I feel like a dummy. But this boss has always caused me trouble. Basically what you do is when he charges, you jump and hit downwards. Yeah, even with my setup I am having some trouble with this boss. And for this better way I suggest having at least one upgrade of your nail. At least one. Two is preferred but at least one is great. And of course you can wait for the end of the game to attempt this, but I don't suggest that because this is so much more fun without much upgrades. So hit the flying annoying creatures, they're the most annoying mob in the whole game. Three times is gonna be enough. I have the nail arts, that's why I'm. it's taking one shot for me. These guys are the easiest to deal with, you can heal when they spawn. This is the ideal time to heal. Because they don't cost much of a threat to you. And these guys are pretty easy, what you can do for these guys is jump on top of them and pogo. Pogo stick on top of them. That's the best way to deal with these guys because there's a lot of them and if you don't have the, slow, the nail arts it's gonna take a while to beat them. 
These guys are pretty much bosses. They are the goose goose mother. <laughs> no, the goose mothers. And they're pretty difficult. You cannot pogo these guys. Just predict their movement. They're gonna jump sporadically, but they have some predictable movements with some practice. You should not have trouble with them. And now this guy. This guy spawns after the only battles for the first fight. The trial of the warrior. This is the last boss. He's super easy. You don't have to. You know, this is the first time I actually saw him. He's not an issue, he's not gonna hit you, don't worry guys. The reason why I did not see him the first time is because I did not rescue him earlier, I rescued him afterwards. So yeah, if you rescue this guy early on, he's gonna appear here and you can battle him, he's not a threat. As you can clearly see, and there we go, the whole boss battle has been one. You get 900 Geo and a Charm Notch. Alright, let's move on to the second fight. Trio of the Conqueror, let's go. This battle is a lot harder. And as you can see, I have very low health. That's because I did this early, very early in the game. I think right after I beat the first one, which I did not record. So you can see the actual correct way of beating this, this stage. As I said, a lot more difficult for these guys, what you can do is pogo them on top of them, just jump on top of them and pogo continuously. And you can dispose of them that way. I cannot show you which charms exactly to use, unfortunately, because I did not record myself showing the notches. These guys are the most annoying ones, what you can do for them is use the nail art I showed you before. If you don't have it, like I don't have it right now, you can use Vengeful Spirit and shoot at them if you have, of course, enough health and enough soul. Okay, this is a pretty annoying part. Just predict their movements and shoot them if you can, if you have enough health, of course. And three shots is gonna kill them. They like to charge at you and sometimes they get stuck on the left or right side of these beams. So if you manage to get them stuck, that's awesome. And you can hit them from the side. Okay, make sure you heal here when you get the chance after this uh, stage wave, I guess. And you can pogo this guy on on top of him. However, I, for this guy particularly, I do not suggest doing that because there are spikes around and you could fall on the spikes. Good. Shoot this guy, of course, like I said. If you have soul. If you don't, don't shoot him. <laughs> Obviously, you cannot. And you can heal at this point. Now, as soon as this guy spawns, jump at him and hit him. That's gonna cause some damage and it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to deal with him. So far so good. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having a lot more trouble this time because I don't have much gear and I almost died here. I got the chance to heal. And the shell I'm using is very helpful if you don't have good gear, as I don't. And if you have soul, this is a perfect time to farm soul for these guys. Hit them, get some soul and go heal. You have a lot of chance to heal at this stage. Because they're pretty easy. Just stay on the top of the screen and wait for them to come to you. Do not stand below them if you can help it. Sometimes you can't. Very good, I'm full health and I have some, some soul. You can actually push this guy downwards if you hit him enough, but I don't suggest doing that because you could get some damage done to you. Now for these guys, as soon as they spawn, jump and hit them. 
You can avoid him if you have the double jump, but even that's a little trick. So as soon as you see him, jump and hit them. With one shot they're gonna be dead. These guys are not that difficult to deal with, unfortunately. As soon as they spawn, hit them. Hit them and kill them as fast as possible because more and more are gonna spawn. I think like 7 or 8 of them spawn. So yeah, kill them as fast as possible. Before too many spawn, of course. And there we go. And for this battle, of course, I suggest having at least 3 upgrades on your nail. I guess 2 is also fine, but 3 is ideal, I guess. And if you can manage to get 4, of course, it's a lot better. This one is very annoying. Just do what I do. This is my preferred method, but even with that, I'm having trouble, always. So far so good. Got some health back. 4. 5 health and this is not a real wormy, this is a fake one. And he's easy to deal with, this is a perfect time to farm some soul from him and you can heal after him. For this guy make sure you jump on him, do not do what I did here, just jump on him and pogo on top of his head and you'll be okay. This is the ideal time to heal from these guys. Also, you should not use Vengeful Spirit like I did here. You should conserve it for the harder battles, because this is seriously a super easy battle, so you don't need that. Unfortunately, I did use it. Pogo this guy, of course, like I said many times. That's the ideal way to deal with him. The Mosquito here is not an issue, because you have lots of space to work with. He dies in 4 hits. This guy charges, so there's not much time to heal for this stage. Because mosquitoes are coming to you and the other fool is coming to you all the time, so yeah, there's not much time. And for this stage especially there's no time to heal. None at all. Very good. Again pogo this guy. Jump on top of him. Like this. And before that you should have healed, because afterwards you cannot heal. For these guys what I suggest is shooting them two times. The mosquitoes, I call them mosquitoes, I, don't, I know they're not mosquitoes. But hit the mosquitoes two times with the vengeful spirit and then once with your sword. Nail, not sword, nail. Or jump on top of them four times, which is very very difficult, so don't suggest doing that. Do not jump on them. Only if you get the opportunity like this, if they are not charging at you. If you're gonna do that, jump once on them and don't deal with them at all afterwards. Again for these guys you can pogo, you have a lot of space to fall down on. And there we go, this stage is done. Some more mosquitoes, this stage sucks because we have mosquitoes of course and I hate these guys a lot. And you don't have much opportunity to jump on them. On this guy, I mean not the mosquitoes. Now these guys, in the second Colosseum battle they are not an issue. Seriously, they're super easy, but in the third one they're the most annoying mob to deal with. So here you should not have too many issues. They're pretty predictable, there's no spikes on the ground. So... Basically stand below them or next to them and they're not gonna shoot you. They shoot diagonally, so yeah, you can easily predict their movement. But in the third Colosseum battle you cannot. And there's gonna be constant spikes below you and no ground in the third battle, so... You should be careful there, but here, seriously, you should not have issues. Hit them like four times, I think. It's enough. And even with these spikes, again, it's not an issue. Stand below them. 
and use Vengeful Spirit if you can. I should have used Vengeful, Vengeful Spirit because I was full health, but I didn't. Dude, that's Vengeful Spirit if you don't know. I think five times kills them if you use that. And I jumped right on top of that. Stupid. Also, do not pogo these guys. Because sometimes you may fall on the spikes yourself. Of course, if you want to risk it, risk it. You should not risk it, in my opinion, but you can risk it. And there we go. These guys are done. And here come more guys. After these guys, make sure you trap these guys. You can actually trap them from time to time. Just hit them to the side and you can trap them. But again, it's not necessary. Alright. These guys are done. And now come the boss battles. These guys are actually hard to deal with. My suggestion here is bring both of them down to low health. Do not go for one of these guys. Because after you kill one, the other one transforms to something more dangerous. So if both of them have like one hit point, what you can do is kill this guy and hit the other guy once and he's dead too. As you can see, he's transforming, so he's a lot more difficult now. If he was at one point, I would have just killed him and that was gonna be it. It was gonna be that easy. However, I did not do that because this was my first... The first time I actually saw this boss, I think. I have not died in this wave. Pretty sure, can't remember. If you wanna heal, go to this side, of course, and try to heal. He takes a lot of hits. So do not do what I did. Bring both of these guys to like one, two, three hit points. And then you're all set. Also, do not rush this guy. Don't rush him. His trouble is he fires a lot. Just wait for the perfect opportunity and then shoot him. And there we go, guys. The trial of the Conqueror has been completed. You get 1800 Geo and also some pale ore, which you can use, of course, to upgrade your nail, which is awesome. Let's start the last Colosseum battle. For the last battle, I'm gonna use Quick Slash, Nail Master's Glory, Long Nail, Steady Body, Stalwart Shell, and Spring Master, which is completely not necessary. I just had a free spot, so I use that too. Colosseum Fools, the third stage. For this one, for the third. Colosseum battle, you're gonna need to learn Great Slash. Just get it from Neo Master Shio and learn how to use it before you attempt this battle. It's gonna be your best friend in this entire battle. It, there's so many waves and you have to be super careful. And these pesky things, which are the most annoying mobs in this battle, are destroyed in one shot. The mosquitoes and the aspids are destroyed in one shot. That's your best bet. Learn how to use it and you're gonna be completely fine. So for these guys, hit one of them once and then pogo stick on top of them. This is gonna be a lot easier because one of them is gonna be taken out pretty quickly. And you also have to learn where exactly they spawn because all of them have set locations to spawn. As you can see right there, I killed the Aspid as soon as it spawned. If I didn't know it was gonna spawn there, I was not gonna hit it at that point. Okay, so for these guys, just stand here, don't rush it, just stay on top of this pillar and wait for them to come to you. There's absolutely no reason to rush this stage, because it's actually pretty difficult. You could pogo on top of them, but I don't advise it, because they're gonna go up and they're gonna corner you and do some damage to you. So wait, stay close to them, hit them with the nail art, great slash its coat, and you're done. Oh, 
Okay, so for this stage, stay on the left or right side. It does not matter which side, and you don't have to stick to the wall, you can just jump on the wall, but I prefer sticking to it, so I don't move. These guys get killed in one shot. You can see where they're gonna land as soon as they spawn, so you can predict where you can hit them. The first guy you can kill in one shot, of course, you know exactly where he's gonna spawn. Yeah, so the, for this stage, for this battle, it's great to know exactly where you're gonna spawn. So practice this one a lot, practice it like 10, 20 times. I, it took me like 50 attempts maybe on this stage, I changed so many charms and I think this is the best order, which works great for every every wave. And also steady body, if you're gonna use quick slash, definitely use steady body. Which is great for the last stage, especially. Do not rush this, as you can see I'm not rushing this stage, just no reason to. Two hits, kills that guy. This stage is most likely the second easiest stage. As you can see I'm full health and I'm also full, full soul. Ok, these guys again, kill them in one shot, this guy dies in two shots, like this. Also my nail is upgraded to max, upgrade your nail at least three times before, I, before you attempt this battle, definitely do that. Three times, upgrade is enough, completely enough. These guys are actually pretty difficult to deal with. More so than the previous ones, because you cannot actually great slash this guy. So these mantises die in two shots. One with great slash and one regular. These guys however die in one shot. So jump at them and destroy them first before you attempt these guys on the bottom. Also make sure you heal here. I was not paying attention to my health, that's why I did not heal. Also my soul is upgraded to max, which is not necessary definitely. As you'll see, I'll have soul pretty much at all times. Again, kill these guys in one shot. It's the first thing you should go for, kill the flying enemies before you go for the ground ones. The ground ones are always left for last. Now these guys die in one hit with the great slash. So kill one of them and then wait for the other one to shoot and then hit him too. Do not hit him prematurely. And these of course die in one shot. So this is pretty much a boss battle. And what I suggest doing here is if you have quick slash and steady body, just tank him. There's no need to do what I'm doing right now, you can just stay right next to him and tank him that way. It's a lot faster. This guy dies in two shots with the great slash. And this guy dies in one shot. Do not rush this stage again, wait for him to fire and then go for him. You don't want to fall on the spikes, because to interrupt your great slash. Two shots as you can see, two shots for this guy too, and one shot for the other guy. And again, the boss is back. And like before, I suggest just tanking him, stay right next to him and he's gonna die pretty quickly. Wait for this guy to... Shoot and then hit him, do not do that beforehand. Again you should pogo this guy. First like always, kill the flying enemy and then go for the ground enemy. And this guy is pretty easy to deal with, <laughs> but I took damage. Like a dummy, 2 damage, wow. These guys die in 3 shots and they are pretty easy. We have another wave of these guys, and first kill the first dude and then go for the pogo. Do not go for the pogo first, because once you fall down, he's gonna hit you. 
And this guy just tank him. You're gonna have lots of health after this stage, so just stay right next to him and tank him without stopping. Alright, so this is very important. Use the Dream Nail on these guys. If you use the Dream Nail on these, you get Soul. Basically, the Soul refreshes with the Dream Nail, so you can have full health after this stage. Which is going to be very beneficial to you. You definitely need lots of health for this stage. Now, these next few waves are for some people the hardest stage. And for me too, the last wave of this kind is the hardest in my opinion. However, with the great stash, they are a lot easier. Do not hit him once or two times or three times. Just charge your hits and kill him that way. This is what I always do. Now this is the hardest part. This and the next part are super difficult. When you have to pogo a few guys, these guys, you have to pogo these, but also you have to be on the bottom so they don't trap you on the top. As you can see, I'm, I have only 3 health. That's how difficult this stage is. Even with the great slash, it is very difficult. Stay on the bottom and kill these guys in 2 hits. And this is your chance to heal. Heal as quick as possible. If you have the quick heal, it's gonna be way better, but I didn't have free spaces and I couldn't. You could stick to the wall or you can jump on it. I prefer jumping on it so I can jump off immediately if I have to. And if somebody comes close to you, you can grass dash him with one hit. Very good. This is your chance to heal up after you kill this guy, you can heal up. The Mantis again dies in two shots. You can pogo her or not. And again, kill the flying enemies first. They are the biggest issue. With one hit, they die. And you can heal. Make sure you have this guy alive still because you can heal when he's patrolling. And always hit this guy from the top or from the back side. This guy dies in one hit, of course. This guy is easy and this guy dies in two hits. There's no change in that. And he's pretty easy to deal with. Just stay mobile and you'll be fine. And if this guy is alone, it is quite easy to deal with him. Just pogo and hit him from the back. Kill these guys with one shot, of course. The mosquitoes are a lot easier when there's no spikes around. Just jump and hit them with the great stash. Again, pogo the guy on the top. That's my rule. Go for the flying enemies first and then go for the ground enemies. You could also use Vengeful Spirit on these guys, and I actually suggest doing that, because I do take a lot of damage here and a lot of unnecessary damage, which could have been avoided pretty easily if I just used Vengeful Spirit like 3 times. And you can kill them of course with their own projectiles. Just like this. Okay, make sure you heal. This is the second hardest wave. What I suggest here, if you don't have steady body and quick slash, you're gonna pretty much fail this part if you do it like this. Basically, stay right on top of him. Continuously hit him and use Vengeful Spirit. Do not stop. And as you can see, in a few seconds, he is completely dead. If you have quick slash and steady body. And there we go, guys, the whole Colosseum battle, the Horus Colosseum battle is complete. You get 2700 Geo and an achievement. So, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped you out with this whole Colosseum 
this was the most fun part of the whole game for me and I hope you won't have trouble with the battles. Subscribe for more Hollow Knight videos and I'll see you in the next one.